Nerds, it's the Young Flats here. I am actually out of the country right now in Canada for work. I wanted to give you guys a preview of what I'm planning on doing to stay on track this week and uh, get some gains while I'm here. So let's check it out. All right, so I opted for an extended stay hotel, which gives me this nice little setup here. Got a microwave, got a coffee maker back there, and I've got myself a mini fridge. Uh, these are kind of crucial components for this. Um, typically, I will pack an ice chest uh, for a night or so stay, and that usually does pretty well for me. But being that this is a longer trip, this is kind of required. So, I know it's kind of hard to see the lighting in here is kind of bad, but I've got my handy dandy scale that I brought with me from home. I do have a Keurig back here, and for that, I did go ahead and get myself uh, a pack of coffee to go with it. Um, just good to have in the morning, especially uh, these uh, early hours being two hours ahead of my normal time frame. I did get myself some monsters, uh, just personal preference there. I went ahead and got some Cajun seasoning. I know it's not the best, but it's better than nothing at this point. I have four cups of minute rice. These are really convenient. I just pop these in the microwave for a minute and it uh, gives me about 40 to 50 grams of carbs. These are really good for post-workout on those days that I will be working out. The other good thing is since I have my scale, I can actually partition them out and get me a little bit closer to my 20 grams on my off days. Um, I also have some buffalo sauce, uh, pretty good on almost anything, no calories. I uh, got utensils for the week that should last me quite a bit. I went ahead and got me a block of cheese. This is going to cover my fat intake while I'm here. Something real easy. And then on to the protein. Uh, I went ahead and got myself two pounds of baked turkey breast. Um, that'll serve for the majority of my protein intake while I'm here. I also went ahead and got, let's see if we can see a little better, but I did get me a rotisserie chicken and a ham. Uh, being in Canada, apparently, maple ham is uh, something they do, so I figured I'd try it out since I'm up here. Uh, let's see if we can get a better view opening this. So, we've got the ham here. I believe this is about a pound and a half to two pounds of ham. Not quite sure how much I'll actually get out of that. And then, just to keep it simple, uh, this should last me the better part of the day today. I did go ahead and get myself a full rotisserie chicken as well. Uh, these are great options. I do I do buy these at home a lot. Um, they're you know pre-made. Typically, I'll just eat the uh, chicken breast out of it and call it a day with that. They usually give me pretty good sized pieces of breast. Um, throw some Tony's on there, or some seasoning, and I'm usually good to go. Unfortunately, I could not find any uh, ready to eat or steamable greens. So for now, I will be sticking with protein and carbs and no real fiber to speak of. Hoping to change that up uh, either tonight or tomorrow whenever I get a chance to get back out there. Uh, so really, this is about it as far as nutrition is concerned. Um, I'll probably be back with a part two trying to show you guys uh, what I've managed what I've managed to do to get my hotel a little more livable for me while I'm out here without spending a ton of money. Uh, stay tuned for part two, guys. Thanks.